So Tomoka State Park has a lot to offer from kayaking and fishing and boating to hiking. I read the sign that says watch out for alligators so then all I do is hear rustling in the woods. <laughs> Way to freak myself out. Oh wow. This is really pretty down here. So Tomoka State Park has large secluded campsites and you would never know that you are 10 minutes out of Ormond Beach and Daytona. You're about 20 minutes from the Daytona International Speedway. So if you're coming up to the Daytona area for an event such as Bike Week or the Firecracker 400 or, or Jeep Beach, which is what we're here for at this time, this is definitely a campsite and state park that you may want to consider. All right, this campground is a loop and we are in site 70, which is actually a pretty good site. We're about a third of the way, two thirds of the way down, but they have two pass-throughs. So we are exactly at one of the pass-throughs. And interestingly enough, in the pass-through, they have sites. So 99 is here and 98 is here. Let me go across and it's site 35, which is our queue. <laughs> but that's where we turn. They gave us a map, but the map didn't really highlight that information. So I'm passing that along to you. washer and dryers they have here. So up here at the first bathhouse, they have this community center. Oh, it's really cool right here at the campground is it's actually on the water. Now from the campsites, you can't see it, but just this little path and you're gonna get there. Now the handicapped sites they have are super nice. They're paved and have a walkway straight over to the bathhouse. So 74. I'm wondering if they actually connect like their companion sites. Oh, they do, sort of. They have a sidewalk that goes through. What you're looking at is site 75. Site 74 is empty. There's 71. I don't think it gets used much. Back up here at our site 70. It's a decent site. Plenty of room for our rig. So the sites come in different sizes. This is a fairly large one. This is site 69. Gives you pretty, pretty much a good size space. And 68 seems to be just a little bit shorter. But these are both really good, I think. And these are situated exactly halfway between two different bathhouses. So that's actually convenient. So this bathhouse has an outdoor wash-up area. Site 64 is another handicapped site with this nice sidewalk that went back towards the bathhouse. One thing that's really, really good about most of the Florida State Parks is all the buffering foliage that they give you between sites. It really makes you feel like you are out there. It's not only the buffering foliage, but they usually come with a picnic table, a fire ring, and this one has, of course, the electric and water hookups. Most of them do. And Tomoka has an outpost, which is a really nice little store as well as they can rent kayaks and canoes and boat rentals there because water goes all the way around the state park. It's like a peninsula and it's, it feels like you're out there. You're so close to town, like four miles down is a Publix, but when you're in the state park, it's definitely, definitely real Florida. We've been up to Daytona a lot and I had no idea the state park was right here. Oh. Hours. Five. 
All right, we are going in. There's a little one. So they have kayak rentals, canoe rentals, and boat rentals here. That would all be a lot of fun. Oh, more picnic areas back here. First Indian village south of St. Augustine noted by Mexico. Well, this is good, it's paved. Yeah. Pretty smooth. All right, so this tells a story. We do know that the Indians did live here. So, Chief Tomoki. 1955. It's been here a while. They put this statue up here. Oh, the pavement ends. Yeah. I think this looks better from afar. It's in a state of returning to the elements somewhat. I wonder if in 1955, did they have actual water coming out here where the water is represented now? So this is a really neat site. Here at the state park, there's the campground and there's access to the water. And then of course there's this historical statue and there's some trails all the way around. Picnic tables scattered about, plenty of them, and lots of access to the water. All right, when we decided we were gonna come up to Jeep Beach here in Daytona, we knew that we wanted to find a place to stay to RV, and we looked and there was a state park so close, right up in Ormond Beach. So it's only like a 15 minute drive. This is definitely a campsite and state park that you may want to consider.